naps are for losers. <laughs> Lazy babies. I just need one more drink. Hate! A poem by Honey Landau. I fall to the floor holding him. God, it must be a heart attack. Jennifer! What are you doing? I throwed myself away. I read my vows. Felipe couldn't find it in his heart to write anything for me. Transformational. Cathartic. Phenomenal. Freeing. Compelling. Groundbreaking. The first thing I told Stacy was that I'm not that interesting. We're gonna do what? What is it? Write? Pages? <laughs> so I don't see how this is gonna be a show. I didn't think I had anything of value to say. I felt I couldn't write. I can't talk that long about my life. I don't know what to write. English or Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> Preparing for rehearsal and I'm not sure what I'm really gonna do. And I was writing about all of this stuff. I am an idiot because I'm writing nothing. I'm writing. I can't write, I can't write, I can't write. I don't know what to say. And I can't think of anything except thinking that I don't have anything to... And it's one of those things you can never see until you do it. Because in the beginning you're like, I will never have anything interesting to say. I suppose every show you do, has, the cast has a bond, but th this was a little different. I found myself sharing things with my group that I've never talked to anybody else about. Somebody's problem was bigger than mine, and so we focused on that one. And as a group, we helped them overcome that problem. Rather than being repulsed by what I said or turned off, people were uh, inquisitive and, and interested. People respond to this show in a way I've never seen people respond to any show ever. There's something very powerful about watching someone speak and knowing that it is absolutely without question their own story. I knew some sort of God when I was little, but I stopped believing in Him when the church told me that He didn't believe in me. If you'd asked me 10 years ago what I'd be doing today, I'd been pretty resolute in the fact that I'd be in some doctor's lounge comparing surgical techniques with my dad. Instead, I'm comparing household appliances with my mom. I, I, I'm trying real hard to, to, to say the right thing and, and, and be cool and hide my accent. Middle school. <clears throat> <laughs> All the guys are growing bigger and taller than me. If I wrote my own rules, the love of my life would never do something like this. I was blown away by the concept and the way the different stories were interwoven together. Something's wrong. I stopped breathing. I'm placed in an incubator and hooked up to machines. She's lost a lot of oxygen. It's highly likely she will have brain damage. It's three in the morning. I am three years old. My father is having a heart attack. Sachin, papa me titini, papa me titini. I watch my father die. 5 a.m., October 23rd, 1971. I was so moved. I had never been touched that way by a, a piece of theater. What did you feel like after you had done BNA? <laughs> I felt like a rock star after I did BNA. <laughs> it felt really cleansing and really cathartic. I felt like I could conquer the world. I felt like I moved a mountain. If I can do this, like I can do anything. It completely changed my life. It changed the way I look at people. I have a story to tell. I have a voice. I really do believe it helped me immensely grow as an artist. I, I think I'm a bolder actress because of my experience doing BNA. You're going to discover who you are. You will evolve not only as an actor but as a person. BNA made me much more comfortable about who I am.